So last section I have done that tar body we develop that tar body equations for them. So tar body calculate for that we have two power is for that we have done. One is air gap power, another one is mechanical power. Mechanical power which you calculate for that you have to go with the physical rotation that is omega r, right? Whereas air gap power that we have air gap by r rotating that is rotating magnetic field that is synchronous field, right? So air gap power with the synchronous field which we have done that we have done. Otherwise mechanical power with the rotor speed which we have done that we have done. Correct? Okay. Up to now. Whatever we saw, that is all for single phase. Actually, we have three phase induction machine that discuss one into one. And we have to do equivalent circuit which is an element develop one into one. Correct? So, what we have to do is, in the tar body equation, that is the tar body equation, the power of the mechanical power. And the mechanical power, the air gap power, we saw some formula, right? So, we have to analyze one of the tar power, which is a deep power of the analyze one of the tar power. That is very, very important zone, gap flow of the zone. See, this is the equivalent circuit of the induction machine. Everything is minimum. That is everything is perfect. This is what we tell you. Next thing, now let's look at that. This part is called stand-up part of the induction machine, and this is called rotor part of the induction machine, right? Okay. But now we have to tell you that stand-up part of the induction machine it is same as synchronous machine, and it is same as transformer, right? Now, is there any changes in the stand-up equivalent circuit? No. In our observation, let me tell you that we have to transformer or transformer or stand-up equivalent circuit. We have to tell you that almost, right? इधर हम इन्हें एक्सेक्टर सोलो भी ना सिंक्रोनस मशीन वाले स्टैटर कंस्ट्रक्शन हो इंडक्शन मशीन वाले स्टैटर कंस्ट्रक्शन हो अलमोस्ट आइडेंटिकल राइट सो आज हम ऐसा मंडोट नहीं यूजुअली वी आर नॉट एनालाइजिंग द स्टैटर पार्ट वंस अगेन नवर नवर अटेंशन हम ये इंडिया अधिक मार इतना भी ना रोटर पार्ट ले व्हाई सर we have big difference synchronous machine and induction machine oda rotor oda ninga compare oda panni paaka mudiyadhu yena anga nam rotor oda construction um inga nam panna construction um totally different and one more thing induction machine la irukka ella parameter me slip ah depend panidha irukum endha or parameter neenga eduthidala seri adu slip ah vechi dhaan nam adha pathi pesuvom like slip versus torque slip versus power slip versus frequency slip versus speed right so everything so induction machine la porutha varaikum slip ah depend panni mattum dhaan ella parameter irukiradha rotor side la slip ah पर तो हमारा स्पीड मशीन ले टार टार को भी वाला डाला पड़ेगा ये अंदर ये लगा मैक्सिमम टार के डाला पड़ेगा ये लगा मेरे अंदर स्लिप बोर्ड तो मटे में है राइट सो ये कंक्लुशन इस इंडेक्शन में शोर्ट रोड अगर हम डीप ऑर्डर इस पर हम और तो आदमी तो मैंने अपना बोला भी ना स्टैटर वाला पैरामीटर उंडी That is constant loss, right? So the neglect point here. Let us turn this circuit. If I am going to turn this one now, Bina, here from this zone, I am turning this circuit. Now I am turning this one. This is my supply voltage. Now I am going to turn here. First time I am getting VTH. Now I am going to turn this one now, Bina. Just apply voltage division rule. This is the graph. J into X M upon total impedance into supply voltage. What do you mean, Bina? V turn it. So, our Z turn it. We can get one. To know the Z turn, we have to Short circuit that is deactivate all independent sources. Here we have an independent voltage source. Apo voltage source na mene kono short pani na. We are calculating the left ZDH. Apni short pani the ZDH single ni calculate pani na bina. In the branch, in the branch we are calculating parallel. Correct. So anyway, these two parameters are calculated series. So R S plus J X S. And that is, if you will go result of in the value of the in the line ko parallel kar dalan. If you reduce parallel pani na bina. If you reduce pani you get two components. Real part, imaginary part. Real part apni na the R T H. Imaginary part apni na the X T H. Clear. So that is how we are calculating the left. Vth and the Zh. See, you don't need to memorize all these things. Just now, when you are going to observe, you are going to fix it. This is the equal circuit. This is the value of the value. Just the downwise one. Rotor part part one. This is the downwise one. Right? Circuit the downwise one. But the third one of the circuit the reader one. Vth and then Zh and then variable load. The third one of attach one. Correct? That is the downwise the equal circuit. That we know. Now, I am just applying KVL for this circuit. अपने केवल अपने पर ना मिलेगा ना वो इधर ये लोग रोटर्स हो करेक्ट ना ये पहले ये ये लोग करेक्ट ना हम रोटर पर अटैच पनी आ चुका है राइट अब रोटर पर एंट्री आ रहा है करेक्ट ना हम एप्पल ना बीटीएच डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल इंपोर्टेंस अवेलेबल इन दिस लूप आरटीएच प्लस आरआर प्लस आरआर बाय यस माइनस 
R S by S. Actually, you will reduce the number. You will get what? R R by S. Correct? And one more thing. Actually, we will get what? Stat uh, 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 or rot or roughly all parameters are stat or roughly shipped. Or all the parameters dash or not. Right? That is what we know. 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 That is what Next, sir. If in the current of the square, what is going to happen? Let me see. In the equation, there is no doubt. Let me see. Now, what is going to happen? V R divided by real part plus imaginary part. What is going to happen? That is going to happen. The polar is going to happen. The magnitude is going to happen. The face is going to happen. Anyway, the face is going to happen. The magnitude is going to happen. So, V T H to magnitude is going to happen. The denominator is going to happen. The real term is going to happen. The plus imaginary term is going to happen. Keep all these terms under root. Clear? So, that is how we are obtaining the order term. Once we find the value of rotor current, I know that tau code equation is a little deep. Now, let's take a look at the other one. See, if the current is going to be square, then the denominator will be down, lying under root, and the root will be very low. The numerator will be BTS, so the square will be BTS square. That's why we have seen the equation for tau. Now, let's take a look. We can calculate the developed tau in two ways. And I know that we are going to estimate the value of developed tau with the help of aircraft power and the synchronous speed of the machine. Correct? This is how we can do it. Now, if you have aircraft power, we can do it. I are squared into R R by S divided by omega S. Yes, everything is perfect. And remember one more thing. What I have been told you, if you have a path with LMA, थ्री फेस इंडक्शन मशीन दा अनो नंबर अनालाइज़ पनी ट्रेक्टर तो पर फेस इक्वलेंस रखते हो अब थ्री फेस फॉर टोटल बार नमक बेनो अभी ना लेट मी मल्टीप्लाई बाय यम यम डिनोस नंबर ऑफ़ फेसेस राइट इफ़ दी नंबर ऑफ़ फेसेस आर थ्री देन यू कैन रिप्लेस दिस यम बाय थ्री अब ये ना अनो थ्री टाइम्स divided by omega s and all that is the general formula for our three phase induction machine apani in m replacement rate substitute panikla we can keep 3 clear so that is the developed term now we just now we found the value of i r square we update the substitute panikla substitute panikla tau equation avaru let us see so when i am substituting this current equation into the tau equation so tau ke substitute panikla ungalku enna kadikum or extend panikla so the developed tau will become Three times of I R squared value in here, right? So let me substitute it here. V I V T H square. Numerator will be no return only. Clear. Rotor resistance upon slip, right? In the denominator, we are going to obtain rotor resistance by R plus R T H, right? So this term lying under square. Similarly, we have to consider X T H plus we have to consider rotor resistance, right? This one that is X R under that is under square. This is the value of developed tau, right? So from this, this is exact tau equation. This equation is called exact tau equation. And now we are going to do what? Approximate analysis, right? For our easy analysis, easy one. We are going to do what? Approximate circuit. Approximate circuit. We are going to do what? We are neglecting the effect of stator impedance. Actually, the R T H is the X T H. Abhi, that's why we are going to do what? Stator zone. Upon the stator or the zone, there is the impedance. Abhi, that we completely neglect. What do we do? That is called approximate analysis. In approximate analysis, we are assuming that the value of R T H. And the value of X T H is going to be zero. That is called approximate analysis. Clear? So, in your example, problem solve from there. I cannot say. Now, on the approximate, that question or what? I cannot solve from there. Read your question carefully. From the given data, data or something, I will identify from there. Anyway, while solving the problem, I will explain. Clear? How to identify this given equation? Right? Okay, fine. Apa develop it? That you know, or see. You have to remember one more thing. If our standard or the impedance is completely neglect, what it will be? Na. See, now we know that this is supply voltage. That is why we have standard circuit. Now, what we have been told is that standard circuit is completely neglect. Right? So, in this case, we have to do VTH. Correct? Standard is correct. Now, if you remove the impedance, you have to remove the impedance. Now, what is the supply voltage of VTH? Correct? So, what is the conclusion? When the moment we are neglecting the effect of standard impedances, I can say VTH can be replaced by supply voltage. R standard voltage, so I can say V S square into rotor resistance R R by S. In the denominator, we are going to obtain R R by S whole square. Neglect the effect of R T H plus S R whole square. Clear? So that is the resultant expression for developed tar in case of approximate analysis. So that is all about tar equation. Another thing I am going to point out is that I am going to say that we are going to use the induction machine. 
So induction machine लाना इन्होर विषयम सोलेर ना power flow equation बताइए ना हम बेसिक पे कम बोले ना हम transformer synchronous machine आरके डॉम ये ला DC मशीन आने दो, आज ये ला में उधर आइडियल केस अभी ना वो पोक मोड़े, ये ला लास्ट में निगलेट पने ला, अदोलर के ड्रॉप ये ला में ना मच जीरो आके ला, अना व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंडक्शन मशीन, इंडक्शन मशीन उधर रोटर ला, इंदर डेवलपमेंट टार्क अपडिंग ना दे, रोटर उधर रेसिस्टेंस why sir? Rotor लर के copper loss निगे zero आगे टिंगा भी ना Rotor लर के resistance will become zero Initial starting, that is starting torque of the induction machine is depending on the value of rotor resistance Rotor resistance zero आगे टिंगा भी ना starting torque ना हो That will also going to be zero So you cannot start your three phase induction machine So the conclusion is In case of induction machine So your machine is ideal Ideal आगे इरिंद आलू Rotor लर के resistance यो इल्ला अंद losses यो उंगला ले एन्ना पनम डियादा भी ना Ignore पनम ஆஸ்கின்டி கமான் செக்சன் தேர்ச் வராச்சின் விடியோஸ் தேர்ச் வாரும்